Melanoma is similar to other cancers in that it has been shown to be able to spread to lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are normal parts of the immune system. They act to be able to drain areas of the body. For example, if you had an area of melanoma on your leg, lymph nodes located in the groin may be draining this specific area. Lymph nodes can become enlarged if melanoma cells are contained within them. However, microscopic spread can also occur and the melanoma cells may not cause the lymph node to be enlarged. Physical examination can help us to know if your lymph nodes in the draining area of your melanoma have become enlarged. If the lymph nodes are enlarged, you may not be a candidate for sentinel lymph node biopsy. Your surgeon may have offered you a sentinel lymph node biopsy related to some particular features of your melanoma. For example, a stage 1A melanoma is a very thin melanoma with no concerning features. A sentinel lymph node biopsy would not be an appropriate procedure for you as the, the risk of sentinel lymph node positivity is extremely low. However, some other thickness melanomas, including stage 1Bs and higher, may be um, appropriate indications for a sentinel lymph node biopsy. A sentinel lymph node biopsy involves, on the day of surgery, being seen in the nuclear medicine department where technetium-99 radio tracer is injected into the site of the melanoma biopsy or melanoma excision that you've had done prior to this visit. A small needle is used to inject the technetium-99 into the surrounding skin and within approximately an hour to 90 minutes from the time of the injection, a full body lymphocytogram or scan is completed to determine which lymph node basins are draining or have drained this area of skin, providing us with a treasure map to be able to determine where we should be directing our sentinel lymph node biopsy. The lymphocytogram will help us to determine the number of lymph nodes that drain this area of skin and their location. Sometimes patients will have more than one sentinel lymph node and sometimes this may drain to more than one lymph node basin. So for example, a melanoma on the upper back may drain to the lymph node chain in the neck as well as into the area of the axilla or the armpit. A common question is, if a sentinel lymph node is identified on the skin, is it positive? Does it have melanoma cells within it? And this is not true. In fact, this just gives us a treasure map of which lymph nodes drain this particular patch of skin. We will not know the results of the presence or absence of melanoma cells until after pathologic analysis. After you've had the full body scan identifying the area to which the particular patch of skin where your melanoma was located, some marks are usually placed on the skin to be able to help guide us during the surgical procedure. You then come to the operating room, have an anesthetic, and have your procedure completed, which may or may not include the wide local excision, depending on if this has been completed prior to um, your visit. A sentinel lymph node biopsy at this point in time uh, involves a small incision just over the area of maximal signal, which we are able to determine with what's called a gamma probe or a small handheld probe that can give us an idea of where the radio tracer has accumulated. As mentioned, a small incision is made and we can pinpoint which specific lymph node or lymph nodes has the highest signal and remove just those nodes and not the remaining normal nodes. This helps to keep our incisions smaller and to help you recover quickly from the surgery. After the procedure is done, the lymph nodes are sent to the pathology department for a very careful sectioning and analysis. Oftentimes this will include a number of special stains to make sure that melanoma cells are identified if they are there. We will not have the results of your sentinel lymph node biopsy on the day of your surgical procedure. In fact, it usually takes between one week and two weeks to have final results. If your follow-up appointment is booked two to three weeks out from your surgery, we may call you on the phone to give you results of your sentinel lymph node biopsy. If your sentinel lymph node is positive, you may have a number of different options available to you. A first option may include removal of the remaining lymph nodes in the draining lymph node basin to make sure that there are no other lymph nodes that contain melanoma. Another option is entering a special multicenter trial called the MSLT2 trial, which would randomize you to either observation or the full surgery as mentioned. There are some other therapies that are available to patients that have melanoma in their lymph nodes, considered stage three disease, including interferon. Sentinel lymph node biopsy is a staging procedure. It has not been shown to improve survival from melanoma. A common question that patients will ask is, if I don't have a sentinel lymph node biopsy and there are melanoma cells within my lymph node, what will happen? 
Eventually, you may notice enlargement of that lymph node. We would obtain a biopsy at that point in time to determine if melanoma has metastasized to this area. If it has, a surgical procedure may be used to, to manage this area, including removal of all the lymph nodes in the particular lymph node basin. A sentinel lymph node biopsy offers you information up front about the behavior of your specific melanoma and offers your medical team information about your prognosis and other treatments that may be options for you. A sentinel lymph node biopsy site is usually approximately an inch in size and is closed with absorbable sutures. You may have some steri strips or small tapes or dressing on top of this incision. Most patients notice some mild pain or discomfort at the sentinel lymph node site. Within a week to two weeks, some patients also notice some swelling in the area, which is commonly a fluid collection called a seroma. Seromas are non-infected, sterile fluid collections and usually will go away on their own. More commonly, the small nerves that cross the skin in the area where your incision has been made are cut during the surgery and you may notice some numbness at the skin site. A common question is, what's my likelihood of developing swelling or lymphedema of the extremity that the sentinel lymph node biopsy site is associated with? So for example, if you have a melanoma of your leg and the sentinel lymph node maps to the groin, what's the likelihood of having swelling of the leg associated with the biopsy? The likelihood of having lymphedema associated with a sentinel lymph node biopsy is approximately 3 to 5%. If you have lymphedema associated with your sentinel lymph node biopsy, we have a physical therapy department that you can see with respect to different treatments that are available. However, most patients will not have significant lymphedema that will require treatment.